And we welcome those of you who have been watching the Ford VCS Rose Bowl postgame show. It's the 43rd edition of the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl from the Valley of the Sun. Did not advance to the top level of college football till 1996. Clearly the Bears and Knights are ready to go. It's amazing how excited those guys get that don't have the pads on. <laughs> That's it. That's what you need. Enthusiasm. UCF won the toss and will receive. They don't want that Baylor offense to take the field to start the game. So Aaron Jones is going to kick off for Baylor. And the dangerous Rennell Hall is back deep for the University of Central Florida Knights. And the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl is underway. Short end over end kick to Williams Stanback, a freshman. Gang tackled at the 24. Led. Bortles can run. Both of these big men can run from the quarterback position. And Blake's all the way to the 45 yard line of Baylor. Storm came back to him. Left Miami when Randy Shannon was let go as the coach. Bortles keeps it again. Has the first down. Tripped up by Eddie Lackey. First team all big. Four wide receivers spread the field on first and ten. Good start for Central Florida. The underdogs. Storm Johnson. Storming into the red zone and down at the 11. Another tackle by Sam Hall, the senior from Cape. Knights. Johnson touchdown what a start for Central Florida on for the extra point and George O'Leary because the defensive coordinator so pressure on Summers against this team his defense off to a great start Niles the sack Old school. Yes, sir. His old school off to a great start. Blake Bortles, look out. Hit as he throws, has a receiver open. Rashad Perryman out of bounds. Inside the 20, they'll mark him at the 17. They went from one of the worst defenses in the country to one of the best. Joseph Popolo comes in as a blocker, and they follow him for a first down. Storm Johnson hurdles down to the two. They don't. And if form holds they'll follow him again they do Johnson another touchdown if you didn't know you'd think the team in the white was the 17 point favorite tonight Sean Moffat the tonight now they had an incomplete pass when he's matched up against Tevin Reese he didn't bite on a double move, so that's what they need from him, those corners to hold up. Antoine Goodley. Ankle tackled by Sean Mag. They're at the 37, two yards short of the 35, the yard to make. Seastrunk. Down inside the 10. Mag and Ozerite. From Central Florida, and here we go. Petty, quick pop. Was that a catch? Jordan Nybar, the tight end, did catch quick hitter. Now they line up very quickly. And Petty shoves it in. That's almost unfair. Clearly that play was in their pocket and ready to go in this situation. And Pet Now made 186 PATs in a row. A long Portals. Wow. Fake to nobody in particular, but it seemed to shed the defense. Five. Under a minute and a half to go in the first quarter. UCF leading by a score. A blitz and a screen. And it pinballed around and fell incomplete. Eddie Lackey helped blow it up. It was intended high game. Instead, it's third and 11 from their own 10. Only a four-man rush and a first down. On the completion to Corey Coleman. 
who's down at the 20. And was a unanimous All-American. Petty on third and eight. Had to pull it down, throws, and it's incomplete. Antoine Goodley could not complete the catch. Jordan Ozerites broke it up. Not one situations. On third and three. Bortles throwing in a single coverage and too long. Looking for Brashad Perryman with Baylor ball. UCF leading by a touchdown early in the second quarter here at the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. On their own 43, lots of running room for Antoine Goodley. He dragged the safety Brandon Alexander for a couple of yards at the end of the run. They're showing blitz. They bring it. And the pass is too high intended for Levi Norwood. So far tonight, fourth and eight, and they're going for it. And Petty slipped down. Looked like a quarterback draw. But on this natural grass turf, he fell down. This is the home of the Arizona Car. Uh. Second and eight. Baylor defense has settled in after UCF scored in his first two possessions. There's a strike for a first down. J.J. Wharton, quarterback. Central Florida was one of them. George O'Leary said if it didn't work out, we were going to make him a tight end. He's throwing deep. Single coverage, and it's intercepted by Dimitri Goodson. Intended for Rennell Hall, and Goodson picked it off. 40 pounds, and I caught six balls my junior year. Petty throws a floater, caught. And it's going to depend on the mark. It looked like Goodley again circled back a bit, and he's short. For three, so he was in your top three. Yes, sir. Blake Bortles under pressure. It's deflected and intercepted. Tipped to the line of scrimmage, and Eddie Lackey picked it off. History of attempts without throwing interceptions. Not tonight. Petty down the middle and caught at the 10. Levi Norwood, touchdown Baylor. And make you pay. Whoa, problems on the hold for Brody Trahan trying to run for two and he doesn't get there. Brandon Alexander chased him down. That's two series. Yeah, he's thinking about going into the NFL draft. He's not helping his stock tonight with his throwing. He's three out of nine. Storm Johnson lost the football, and it's the third turnover of the half. Sam Hall again. He wound up with it after the ball was ripped out and was put on the bench for a while. Well, and you see from the backside, number 92. Well, yeah, that's where you have to trust your teammates, that they're as prepared as you, and Terrence Plummer's. Outstanding linebacker. Third and five, lofted right to Brandon Alexander. So the Baylor Bears hand it right back. Jordan and Justin McCray, identical twins, were first team all conference. Moving along the line, but no flag. Single coverage and a flag thrown to the secondary as Brashad Perryman was impeded by KJ Morton. Allen was not highly recruited. Doug Marone, the former Syracuse coach, tipped off George O'Leary to stand back. Doug once coached for George at Georgia Tech. Rennell Hall off to the races. Looking for a block. He gets help from Josh Reese and scores. Fifty yard touchdown. They went 80 yards after the interception. Dramatic swing. And the man now they're playing a little off. Petty. Far sideline. Tevin Reese. First down to the 40 yard line. As soon as they cross midfield. Fake to see Strunk. And the catch made. Coleman running free. Yanked down by Clayton Gathers, the safety. Meaning they're calling run blitzes right into runs. Petty has some running room. Has a first down. Has a touchdown. Up and over. Jacoby Glenn for the score.
extra point yet. They're going to kick it and make it a one point game. Aaron Jones on this year is 50. Nice pocket for Bortles, and he takes advantage with a strike to J.J. Wharton. And a first down to the 48. Baylor blitzes again. That time it was picked up, and the throw is behind the receiver hall. But K.J. Morton's going to get flagged for pass interference. Jersey of a UCF wide receiver. It's going to get called just about every time. J.J. Wharton lunging for the first down marker. They ruled under a minute to go. One timeout for the Knights. Rennell Hall. Central Florida. Another great downfield block by Josh Reese. And yeah, the extra point up and good by Sean Moffitt. They're starting to get a little bit of that with the quick screen game. Set it up. Down the middle, they're in field goal range. Levi Norwood. The ball's out at the end of the play, but he's ruled big to do this, particularly indoors. That needs to hook. It did not. And it's still an eight point. They're the Tostitos Fiesta Ball. First and 10, Baylor, the zone 32. Lake Seastrunk held down, tripped up by the 37 yard line during the game under pressure. Third and four. Four man rush. Petty throws for a first down to Levi Norwood. Forward progress. Will be Bryce Petty, the play fake and the completion. Jay Lee inside the five. Where are they going to mark it? At the one. He didn't get in. Process. Josh Gordon, Kendall Wright, Terrence Williams, all three star recruits or lower. Petty Caves, touchdown. They love that play by the goal line. And now let's see if Art Bryle. Well, that's something that you might want to look at because that's a matchup you like. Petty faked it on the fly sweep action and goes in again. And his past streak in the country behind only Florida State, Michigan State, and Auburn. Look out. Stanback lost his helmet and lost yardage. Sean Oakman and Jamal. Blake Bortles slipped a bit, but stayed on his feet. Has a man up. Jeff Godfrey. Drag Terrell Burt for a while down. Design rollout for Bortles. Corner of the end zone. Caught. Touchdown, Brashad Karaman. Doing that red zone, you have to get hands on receivers. Or it's too easy. It's pitch and catch. Petty, 20 out of 33 for 253 yards passing. Play Fuller. A nifty stepping through the middle of the field to get out to the. Coleman. Nice tackle. Clayton Gathers. Second team all call. The signal caller for the Knights changed his. Four man rush. Petty lobs it for Fuller. Baylor sideline wants a flag. They're not going to get it. From the 46 yard line. Storm Johnson. Close to another first down. Type of field position. Well, I think if they get to field goal range, they would kick it, but right now they're just beyond it. Second and seven. Quarterback draw. And Ahmad Dixon collared him inside the chan here at UCF. And so this is the biggest. It's a BCS game. Bortles has another crease. He has a touchdown. What a drive, nearly five minutes. 
448 off the clock to travel the 80 yard block of Kevin Miller. 15 yard touchdown run. He had a 22 yard run to set it up. Terrence Plummer gets ripped from George O'Leary. He's done a very nice job tonight. They tried to blitz and didn't get there. And here's Fuller across the middle. Inside the 10 and wrestled down by Clayton Gethers. At the nine, seven yard play. Up the middle. Glasgow Martin, a touchdown. And in the blink of an eye, 12 title and the BCS bid. They had beaten Baylor and Texas head to head, but the Sooners a year prior to tonight. And again, sack yardage comes off the rushing total. Throws it downfield. There's a flag down. It's caught by Rennell. Portals down the middle and caught in traffic and fighting for a first down, J.J. Wharton. They wouldn't be here without his heroics in their last-minute win at Temple. Storm Johnson. He's going to score. Touchdown. He's encouraging his teammates to get a big stop. They did not. He has a lot of work to do in 10-26 to get it done. Fiesta Bowl record is 18 by Oregon State when they annihilated Notre Dame in 2001. Petty under duress and throws it away. They got dumped by Niles. Quarterback that will make a good decision on when the ball should be snapped. Charlie Taft said we, we do game the game, usually snap it under 10 because of all the work that Bortles does at the line, but they weren't going to make a big effort to take it down all the way every time. Perhaps now they will. Late in the game, Bortles got free and found stand back for a first to be the MVP tonight. Stand back. Lost the ball as he hit the ground. Might have been down. KJ mistake. Will they keep it on the ground? And stand back. Gets it inside. It's a very forgiving nation. He's worked hard to put it behind him. And with every win, it gets further and further behind him. And he's on his way. 11-yard gain. Bryce Petty, pump fake. Open receiver is Coleman. Quick score. Just play sound, play behind you, and make good, solid tackles. Shock Linwood. Banged around, but made it to the 30 fight. Petty. It's caught by Fuller. Touchdown. With Clayton Gathers right there in coverage. Beautiful catch by Clay Fuller. Encouraged by the success of Chip Kelly with the Philadelphia Eagles. And he also said, this is a business. Well, Baylor will have to onside kick from the 20 because of the penalty. Aaron Jones. Hands team out for Central Florida, protecting a 10-point lead. And it's fielded by the Knights, and that should put it away. J.J. Ward. Running game of Auburn, they'll be in pretty good shape. Bortles takes another knee, and they don't have to snap it again. Relative to the rest of college football, it's a Knights program still in its infancy. Tyson Summers, terrific job as the stand-in defensive coordinator against the Gatorade bath. The thing they know, that's probably dangerous to try with George <laughs> O'Leary after a win like this.